And now let's check in with KRQE News 13 anchor Elizabeth Alvarez with this morning's headlines. Have you ever pulled over to take a photo of sunset? Because I do it all the time. No. Oh, do it. I've done the opposite, which what did you shame do? on me. <gasps> I, yeah. A long time ago. Never back in again. the olden days. Yeah, back in the day. The olden days. Not a good idea. <laughs> really quick, I went to Hobby Lobby on Saturday, Kristen. Mm -hmm. It was a madhouse. Mad. I was there for like two hours, but great deals. Yes. Um, very, very good deals. And place mats. I went, Nikki, specifically to look for place mats for Thanksgiving. See? Zip. No. See, they're all gone. They're out oh, already? Yeah. yeah. They had Chris, a Good bunch you know. of Christmas stuff, but yeah, the the uh, the Thanksgiving and fall stuff. It's, it's wearing thin. Huh? Now, so. <laughs> well, it's yeah. good to know people are taking advantage of deals, including you. It's a good Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. All right, guys. Good morning to you at home. We begin this morning talking about how later today we should find out exactly how many coyotes were killed in that controversial hunt here in New Mexico this weekend. We now know about 80 hunters entered the contest from Gunhawk Firearms in Los Lunas. They uh, and that there were apparently about 23 coyotes that were hunted that Saturday. Now, Gunhawk, Gunhawk rather sponsored the hunt after calibers of Albuquerque canceled it because of a huge backlash. You see, Gunhawk was criticized too, but the owners say the hunt is for a good cause uh, because it actually helps farmers and ranchers to keep coyotes from killing their livestock. An Albuquerque man who allegedly tried to vote twice in the general election is arrested on felony forgery charges. The Albuquerque Journal reports that Bernalillo County Sheriff deputies arrested 48-year-old Thomas Pino. The article states that the deputy county clerk claims Pino voted once as himself and then tried to vote again under his son's name. Apparently, only one vote was in fact counted. The Albuquerque City Council is talking about what to do about two old fire stations later today. The council is thinking about selling the two fire stations. Around 5 p.m., council is expected to vote on the issue. Fire station number two is off of Ledham Broadway, and fire station number seven is off of 47th Street. Now, if approved, the city stands to potentially bring in a combined total of $720,000. That's according to a recent appraisal done. The mayor's office says the two stations are small and outdated and it will just cost too much to renovate them. There are two new fire stations in those same areas and they are expected to go into commission next month. Here's a question for you. Should teenage mothers and fathers get more time off from school? The ACLU thinks so and now wants the legislature to change the law to help out teen parents. According to the ACLU, it wants the state to allow young parents to take 14 days off each semester rather than the 10 days that are currently allotted. Now, it also wants teen moms to get maternity leave. Statistics show they say that just 51% of teenage moms get a diploma. The ACLU and one teen mom we talked with says that if students had more time off, that would change. I think that many of the teen moms we have now will graduate and they won't just drop out because they think it's going to be too hard. The Albuquerque Public School District has a special school for teenage moms, but some say that is not to help enough to help them graduate. A food fight could be going on in Knob Hill all over taco trucks and other food trucks. The Albuquerque Journal says that the number of regular restaurants are not happy that the trucks are apparently driving up and parking nearby, sometimes right in front of their doors. So now some people want the city to change the rules on where trucks can go. They're going to be talking about this tonight at 7 o'clock at a meeting. It's going to be at the Build New Mexico building off of Tulane. And that wraps it up for your Monday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt, Matt Kristen, and myself every weekday morning on KRQE News 13 beginning at 4.30 a.m. All right, ladies, let's send it back to you. Thanks, okay, Elizabeth. Thanks.